प्रोजेक्ट 404 CAF रोम बेस्ड ऑन लेटेस्ट एंड्रॉइड 13 विद फेब्रुअरी 5 2023 सिक्योरिटी अपडेट इज रोल्ड आउट फॉर Redmi Note 8 प्रोजेक्ट 404 CAF इज अ कस्टम रोम डिजाइन फॉर एंड्रॉइड डिवाइसेस दैट एम्स टू डिलीवर एक्सेप्शनल परफॉर्मेंस बैटरी लाइफ एंड स्मूथ एक्सपीरियंस द CAF इन प्रोजेक्ट 404 CAF स्टैंड्स फॉर कोड अरोरा फोरम व्हिच इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ कंपनीज फोकस्ड ऑन इंप्रूविंग ओपन सोर्स ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर मोबाइल डिवाइसेस द प्रोजेक्ट इज बैक्ड बाय सम ऑफ द बिगेस्ट नेम्स इन द मोबाइल इंडस्ट्री इंक्लूडिंग क्वालकम गूगल एंड सोनी इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लोर द फीचर्स ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट 404 CAF रोम एंड शेयर माय ऑनेस्ट ओपिनियन एंड थॉट्स टू यू I'll cover everything from Antutu benchmark score, geek pain score, CPU throttling test results, safety net status and many new features and customizations that this ROM offers. So, let's start. About phone. As you can see, this is project 404 which has Android security update of February 5, 2023 and is based on latest Android 13. And if you look at the kernel version, it has Quicksilver kernel 4.14.256 used. And this is the latest build of this room. As you can see, the build date is of February 26, 2023. User experience. This project 404 has very few apps pre-installed as it does not come with Play Store and you need to install G apps manually. And talking about the smoothness, there is no lags or slowdowns while using this ROM and the ROM is quite fast compared to others. And you can see the app opening and closing speed of this ROM on the screen. Comment down below how is the app opening and closing speed. Antutu benchmark score. So let's start seeing its performance score and I'll start with Antutu benchmark and as you can see the Antutu benchmark score of this ROM is 205573 which is a good score. Geekbench 5. After Antutu I'll show the result of Geekbench 5 test and you can see the result of Geekbench 5 on Redmi Note 8 on the screen. The score for single core is 300 and score for multi core is 1265. CPU throttling test. After seeing the results of Geekbench 5, now let's see how it performed on CPU throttling test. I had run this test for 5 minutes and no any CPU thermal throttling was detected on this room. Safety net status. So now let's check the safety net compatibility test on this project 404 and as you can see it has passed the safety net test and if you look at its play protect certification on play store it is certified as well. Camera. Now after seeing all the performance related results and safety net status, let's see which camera does it provide. And as you can see it comes with aperture camera which has photos, videos and scan feature in it. And you can record up to 4K at 30fps from this camera. Launcher. Talking about launcher, it has its own 404 launcher and from its recent apps you can find app info and Split top option only. It would be better if uninstall and freeform options were present. And if you look down, only clear all quick action is available. So this is indicating that this room won't have many customizations. Home setting. And from its home settings, you can turn on or off at a glance feature, which will be seen on home screen section. And not only at a glance, you can also enable or disable use taskbar feature, which is present in its home setting. And beside this, there are no such any other important features to show. Wallpaper and styles. In its wallpapers and styles, you will get 10 different on-device wallpaper. And talking about other features, you will get dark theme, themed icons, app grid, system icon packs, and system fonts. But when I checked inside its system icon packs and system fonts, only one default option is showing. There are no any other options to choose and apply and not only this you will also miss wallpaper colors and basic colors features on its wallpapers and style section. Quick setting and this is how quick setting section looks like and one thing you will notice that it has edit icons shifted below along with settings and power menu icons. And talking about tiles you will get a separate auto brightness style, scan QR code, nearby share etc. And in terms of tile it has very few tiles present but this auto brightness style is the one that not many custom rooms provide. Settings. 
Now let's see what new features are implemented in its settings section of project 404. So this is the main menu of settings section and I found one glitch here. Maybe it's due to unofficial build. When you tap on this section on setting menu, you will be redirected into your info section from where you can manage Google account, C device info and other things. Network and internet. The first setting that you get on settings section is network and internet where you'll find private DNS features but this private DNS does not come with custom DNS. Apps Inside its app setting you can see recently opened apps list but the feature that I was looking for is not present in its app setting which is game space feature. Battery Inside its battery setting you will find battery uses, battery saver, battery management and status bar. Battery indicator from where you can change battery style and battery percentage features are also present. And another thing that I missed in its battery setting is extreme battery saver option which is not present in this project 404 room. Display. In its display setting you will find adaptive brightness features along with dark theme and you can schedule this dark theme but cannot choose any custom dark theme because it's not present in this room. Security. And from its security you can enable both face and fingerprint unlock feature and talking about encryption room is encrypted. Gestures. Moving towards gesture setting at first you will find swipe to screenshot option and when you take screenshot you can share, edit or delete the screenshot but lens feature is still missing in it. And talking about other gesture features you will also get advanced restart option inside its press and hold power button option. So this is all about this project 404 room for Redmi Note 8 and I have covered almost all of its major settings and features. This room is very smooth room and you will get better performance in this room comparison to other room as it's a CAF based room. So what do you think about this room? You can share your thoughts and experience related to this room on comment section below. And thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked my video then don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below and share this video. Also subscribe to Cracksoid and hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.